Okay, let's talk about the plotter, okay? In fact, if you look at the plotter, you'll see something confusing on here, which is one of the reasons why I bothered making these videos. And I'll show you what I mean. If you look at the plotter scale on one side, you'll actually see where it says nautical. So, ostensibly, that means nautical miles. But if you look, you'll see that this scale here is smaller than when you flip it over and you see nautical again. Now, there's fewer tick marks. This scale is actually larger than this scale. And that can be very confusing. So what I learned is you ignore the smaller scale. You want to use the nautical mile that has the bigger scale, that is more spaces between them, the less busy one. Okay? So when you're measuring nautical miles on your charts, you use this scale. Do not use this scale, even though they both say nautical. Now, I don't know why they both say nautical. I haven't found anything that explains why they both say nautical, but I do know that you want to use the one with the larger scale. So ignore the one with the smaller scale. The busier one, you want to ignore. The one with more space between the tick marks, that's the one you want. Now, here's the parts of the uh, plotter that you're going to use. First of all, it's got a long straight edge. You're going to use that to draw lines between your airports, your destination airport and your um, departure airport and your destination airport. You'll be drawing lines. And I'll show you that on a chart later. I just want you to know you're using the straight edge of it. You're going to be using the broad nautical mile scale. That's, what, that's that one right there. And you're going to use the compass degrees here. Okay, these are degrees, like degrees of a circle. So when you look at degrees of a circle, and you're in aviation, you know that zero or 360 is always on the top. And then you know, and I'll just use from your view, to you this is, would be the east, which would be 90 degrees. The west would be what? 270 degrees. And then if there were a full circle down here, this would be what? It would be 180 degrees. So that's how you're going to plot course directions when you're actually on the charts. And I'll show you that in a minute, but I just want you to see there's only three things you're using. The flat straight edge here to draw lines, the, the wide nautical mile, see that? The wide nautical mile scale here, not the small nautical mile scale on the other side, which I know is confusing, but just remember it. And you're going to be using the degrees here. Now I want to tell you one thing about using the degrees here, okay? If you look very closely, each one of these is 10 degrees apart. And I have found very rarely will you be placing down the compass and you will be able to just read the number off the compass. What I found instead is that I've had to add from a given spot. So let's say I had the compass sitting down on the paper and I knew that you know zero degrees was up here. Well, if you look here, it doesn't even say zero degrees here. It says 90 degrees up here. So in my mind, I didn't even pay attention to the scale. I just ignored it, both sides. I just ignored the scale. Instead, what I did is I know that when I orient the, the uh, compass, I know that the top means zero degrees. I know if going to your right, I know to the right means 90 degrees to the east. I know the west means 270 degrees. I simply ignore the number scale. What I do use are the tick marks, because each big line here represents 10 degrees. So I know if this is zero, uh, going to your right would be 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, 70 degrees, 80 degrees, and 90 degrees. So that's how I normally would do it. I would take, and you'll see this in the actual examples. My whole goal here, my whole goal for you to learn is just ignore the numbers on the scale here. You just need to know the tick marks. Forget the numbers on the scale. They will only confuse you. And it took me a little while to realize that. I was ripping my hair out wondering why I couldn't get the numbers to line up. And then I realized, who cares if the numbers line up? As long as you know what the numbers are, you'll get the right answer. Who cares if the scale actually fits the numbers? As long as these tick marks match up, you're in good shape. So, forget about the scale. Just worry about the tick marks. And I'll explain this in the videos to come. So don't go crazy trying to line up the numbers because it almost never works. Okay. On to a real question.